Howdy friends. I um, got my camera tipped a little higher today so I'm not bending down all the time. Today we're working with Bob Dylan's saved album. It used to be a collector's item but there's so many of them out there now that they're no longer. So guess what? We're gonna cover it with some paint. I never listen to it anymore. It's got a big old scratch on the one side. I don't know how that happened because I've had this album for over 30 years. I think, yeah, I think I was still under my first married name. So that was over 30 years ago. And we're gonna not worry about that and do a little painting. And I'm using some stuff that's already been mixed up. And uh, let's see, let's start with, um, let's do some, a little bit of black, just around the edge like that. Just a little squirt or two. To get the flowage. All right, and I think I'll try. Where'd it go? Where'd my sink strainer go? <laughs> That's a good question. Thought I had it in my supplies here. Instead, let's try this just for fun. We're gonna try pouring that upside down. See what happens. Okay. So let's start. This will be fun. This is a little lemon squeezer I picked up at the dollar store. First time I tried it, I did it upright. Didn't do anything. Why? Because everything came out this boat. Yeah. This time we're going to let it squirt down the little dealio. So there's a little bit of black to get us going. And this is my Anita's brand paint. And here comes the red. Need to give it a little time to go down the chute. Right on, right on. This gives us a pattern. When I did it the other way, all it did was just come out like a funnel. But this is creating a pattern. Yay! I hope it's pretty. Okay, this is orange. Just regular orange. Okay, let that drain a little bit. And we got some a little bit of canary yellow. Oopsie. <laughs> we didn't want a lot of yellow anyway. I didn't anyways. And we got some royal blue. And I'm not choosing the colors in any type of order. And if you hear the background noise, that is my granddaughter watching the Emoji Movie. She just loves that movie. It is kind of funny. Okay, here we got some navy blue. It's all the same brand of paint, the Anita's brand that I got at the hobby store. Got it because I could, you know, it's economical in the larger bottles. And um, all my paints are pre-mixed with my pouring medium. Uh, let's try a little bit of shamrock green. Ooh, it's tilting towards me. Let's turn it a little bit. I remembered my turntable today. Squirty, squirty, squirt. This glue bottle came in pretty handy. I should have saved a couple more that I had from before. Now I know. Save glue bottles. They make great squirt bottles. <laughs> Put a little bit more of that green in there. And I also have a couple metallics left over. Um, here's some rose gold. Pour that in there for some shininess. All right. And I also have a little bit of the metallic bronze. And I did put a, like two sprays of a silicone spray in each one. And it wasn't the silicone oil. It was just an automotive uh, can of something that my husband picked up for me that has silicone in it and it doesn't spray yellow so that's good because you don't want a yellow residue um, in your paint so as long as it sprays clear it'll work similar to silicone oil you just don't get as you know the, the big giant cells like you would with regular silicone oil okay I didn't plug up the hole so I'm going to plug that up now to move the turntable. 
out of the way. Okay. Okay, got some pretty colors going on there. Okay, now I'm going to move my finger, just let it drain. I, sometimes I put a piece of tape or label, piece of label over the hole, and sometimes I leave it open. Just depends on what kind of look I'm going for. I decided to leave it open today, no particular reason. That design's kind of cool, isn't it? But we want to mix it around a little more. So I'm just going to tilt. If I would have, you know, the design would have stayed in the middle more, I wouldn't have tilted as much, but... You know, eh, I just broke another glass. You got to be careful handling glass when you have um, rubber gloves on. It just makes it so slippery. So yeah, I broke one. Not this one, obviously, but I, yeah, I have four of these. And I got them real cheap at a yard sale, so there's no skin off my chin. Although I just hate breaking things, and I hate ruining my project ideas, you know? So let's just drip some of it on here. Rosie, are you in your bedroom? My granddaughter, she left the living room. I can't leave yet to see what she's doing. Okay, we don't want to run off too much of that paint. It looks kind of cool the way it swirled. We did lose some of the bright colors, you know, that ran off. But, you know, it's on my glass now. So I guess I'll just keep it like this for now. Unless I decide to... That looks kind of wonky right there. Let me fix that. Okay, cool. I guess, you know, some people like a lot of green. So let's just keep it right like that. Okay. Get these cups back. These little cups are handy for getting them off, off the racks like that. And it's pretty level. Let's it drain good. Drain well, I should say. Proper English, right? Okay. Man, I shouldn't have grabbed it as fast as I did. I got broken glass on my table. Okay. Make sure there's no glass on my rack. I don't want it mixed in my drip tray. Okay. We'll just take these off. I'm going to cover them anyways. So let's just take them off. Doesn't matter if I get a little paint on them because I'm going to redo it anyway. So. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to let them drain off this little rack so it doesn't matter that I don't have a pedestal for it to sit on because these little racks drain really well. So I'm just going to let it do that. Alright. We've got a lot of green on that. So let's add. we got a little bit of the, just a couple of drops of metallic in there. So. I'm going to combine them really quick. Yeah. Rosie, what you doing? Huh? Oh, she's going poop. My three-year-old granddaughter's going poop. Is everything coming out all right? No? You need granny's help? Okay, we don't want any more green. Let's try this royal blue. Okay, um, let's throw a little bit of orange in there. Okay, hang on. Just a little bit of a swirl. Okay, I'm going to just finish. Green it on the vase. for a little bit okay and we'll come along with part two I'm gonna have to take a little bit of heat to my record album first I gotta go check on my granddaughter and we'll check on the vase and everything after I come back <laughs> 